Hey <laughs> guys, welcome back to another fun-filled slime fun episode with Boomer. Yeah, it's me. I uh, ran into a drone and he decided to pop his head off for me. Give me a souvenir of our visit. I thought that was so nice of him. So today, actually, we decided to do this another one right away because while we're letting our sulfate and dust farms run, we decided to start looking into some other points of the guide. And we found out that we have, I'm going to call it similar to uh, an open water strainer meaning that we can actually sort of auto fish so first of all let me bring up the guy just to show you what we're talking about here uh, getting back up here this is basic no this is yes yeah, basic powered machines and we have three different types of strainers we have a basic and advanced and a reinforced so when you look at the basic strainer this is real cheap this is really cheap to put together now it does function like a regular fishing rod. If I were to fish like this, like I would in vanilla Minecraft, it works the exact same way. But it's not meant to. It's meant to run in this strainer base. And that's why you see that sandstone wall in the water. And it has to be uh, surrounded by water so it recognizes that it's in it. Not too expensive. Four sticks, two string, three mag steel, mag steel, simply magnesium, and steel. So it's pretty cheap to craft. Now, as far as what you get though on returns, you can get sticks, sand, gravel, nether quartz, redstone, emeralds, and the basic slime fun dust. So if you don't have the ability to put together, you know, the initial equipment necessary to get a dust farm going, this is an alternative way to do it. There are a couple downsides. We'll start with the we'll start with the down and we'll talk about the positive then. With the basic strainer, like I said, it is a normal fishing rod. You can still fish with it if you want. Again, those 15 items are the ones you can get. If you look at the downside, it's the durability is one. Meaning it still has the same durability as a normal fishing rod. You have some options. You could eventually get a unbreaking 10 enchant thrown it through a disenchanter and stick that on there and then put mending on it and repair it periodically in order to get to that part though you're probably going to have a dust farm built up now if you had a spider farm you could get tons of string and getting wood isn't that hard if you wanted to walk away from this and let these go and you didn't care about breaking them, well then great, you're gonna get a decent amount of material off of all this. Now it is kind of slow, one time speed, it doesn't fish any faster. But it's relatively cheap to get some basic ingredients going. So that's a positive, is that it will run for you while you're doing other things and it's relatively cheap. The next one up, the advanced strainer. And by the way, you'll notice these will run in flowing water, not just standing water. To make the advanced strainer, it's a little bit more expensive. Eight mag steel in one strainer base. Okay, so it's, it's getting up there a little bit with the steel ingots because of the carbon. I'd still call it about a two. I mean, it's not hard. It doesn't take that long. The nice thing about this one is that it runs faster it's four times has the same durability though as a downside you don't get additional items based off of the three different types of strainers you can put in here it's simply the speed in which it collects materials so again from a cost perspective magnesium and lead don't cost much it's the carbon that starts to get you a little bit but you get a little bit better speed now, if you want to do this, great. You're definitely going to want unbreaking tens, and you're going to want to put mending on it so you can fix them periodically. Now, there is one more, and in all transparency, just so you guys know, because of the sheer amount of materials it took, I did put this one in, and I cheated it in in creative, just to show you. Okay, and I ran it for a while. And by the way, I will destroy this uh, strainer when we're done. The reinforced strainer, uh, positives to it, is that it's 12 times the speed. The cost is insane. 
Uh, I think it's a losing proposition to create a reinforced strainer. Eight reinforced alloy ingots. As you guys know, each one. Some work in there to build that. Given what you're going to get back in resources, I don't know that it's worth it. Uh, this one is a mandatory, must be unbreaking 10 mending without exception. Uh, to have any chance of recovering the cost of running this thing because it still only has 64 durability. So you're going to need the unbreaking 10 and you're going to need the mending to recharge it periodically. Now the nice thing about 640 durability then, essentially is what you're going to get, is that it will last for some time. You're going to probably, at that point, I would assume, you're going to have to start piping items out of here. I would guess that two of these stacks will fill up and, and actually stop it. Now, I did not test to see if you could force it to only pull certain items by pulling these out. So, for example, uh, if all I wanted was, I need something with 16 items here or more, 10. If I put 10 in all 16, Will it give me just 10? By the looks of it, my guess is no, because I don't see any coming in. It's supposed to collect at 12 times the speed. It just pulled one in, but you see what's happening? It tells you not enough room. So unless it pulls 10, you're not going to get it. So it does not appear to be worth the effort. Um, so again, if you're going to do this, you are going to want to make sure that you have the ability to afford, repair, and maintain this, given how expensive it is to craft. So those are the reinforced strainers. Now, the other question I did test, again, just for the purposes of our video, uh, putting mending on it to see, and as you can see, the durability is not going back up. So this does not generate XP. Now, if I were to grab this sucker and go regular fishing with it, now it is nighttime, so I'm expecting some visitors here soon. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't speed up any faster by doing this manually, and what you're going to get is slime fun fish. You'll get some vanilla, uh, cod, some salmon, and you'll get some snails. You'll get a couple of other things that you can, uh, that are specific to slime fun. But as you see, it just, it's a rugger fishing rod. Nothing fancy at all. Here comes a bite. Let's see what we get. All right, what did we just pull up? Uh, raw cod. And that appears to be it. A couple times I got two items. I would get a cod and a snail or something else in Slime Fun. We better get, like, our butts to bed here real fast. Just because I don't feel like having to face another zombie attack. So, again, just to reiterate, it's a nice beginning function. If you have the ability to craft this and go with the basic rods, it's not a bad, you know, basic trainer. It's not bad. Maybe the advanced. Again, if you're going to reinforce, you better make sure you can keep it safe. And with that, I just promised we were going to break the sucker up, let it go. And we're going to toss all those items. So those will just spawn in a few minutes. But I'm hoping that that was helpful for you. That if you're looking at over, if you've ever seen it, to decide what you want to do with it. I like the idea. It's a nice way to get things going without having to manually sit there and grind it. It does save you the time. And it wouldn't be a big deal to put a whole bunch of these together. You just got to keep the fishing rods up. So hopefully that helps. With that, I'm going to say thanks for watching. We're going to wrap this episode up. New to the channel, you know the routine. Hit that subscribe button. But playing Minecraft, you know how it's got to go. You got to go boomer or you got to go home. We'll see you later.